dive bombing into this review, it's Ferdinand. From start to finish, I'm in my opinions of what was good, what was bad, and what could have used a little tweak here and there. I don't have a skit for this, so let's just jump right into it. One of the most awaited Trackmaster engines from the Misty Island Rescue movie, Ferdinand has finally come stateside on store shelves and Amazon.com. $14.99 is his price, with $5 shipping and handling coming to a grand total of about $20. Having bought him on Amazon, I am very pleased with their service and their shipping options. With many options to choose, I went with the cheapest one, the 3-5 to five business days. First impressions are great for Ferdinand. Since I have both the wooden railway and take and play models, I am most impressed with the detail on the locomotive himself. The tender is lacking one or two details that his take and play counterpart possesses, but that's fine I suppose. The gear wheel with the piston, much like his two counterparts, does not move. Aside from this, much like the YouTube user TMBrewer1126 said, and I'm fairly confident that many people agree with him, Ferdinand should have come with a log car like Dash did. Ferdinand comes with a bobber caboose, which I believe is used in logging. Bash came with a teal blue one in addition to his red truck with log cutting supplies. When I was unpackaging him, his packaging was like all of the other greatest moments I needed. Seemingly molded around him, it held snugly. Everyone knows there are three parts to the set itself, as Ferdinand, the locomotive, himself is part one, the tender is part two, and the orange bobber caboose is part three. Looking over Ferdinand, there's not much I can see wrong about him. Like Hank, Ferdinand is very detailed. There's a questionable bit about him, and that's the battery cover. Unlike Hank, the tender engines of the steam team excluding Emily, whose motor is in her tender, and mostly all of the other characters, Ferdinand's boiler holds the, a AA battery. Very unusual, like TM Brewer 1126 said, and I think I may agree. Now we look at his tender. The back holds all that detail from the televised counterpart and from the take and play model. Besides from that, it's just like Neville or Spencer's tender, only molded differently. Finally, we come to the bobber caboose. With all the train conventions I've gone to that has a logging scene or set built, most of the trains, with either empty or loaded log cars, a bobber caboose is usually at the end of it. This one is basically like Bash's, just differently colored. Now comes the long-awaited run of the locomotive, which I featured in another video. Just for fun, like TM Brewer 1126 did, I included Bash and Dash. I didn't really know what else to put with them, so I gave them a few flatbeds I had to make it a little more accurate to a logging railroad. Bash and Dash are always helping to create mass hysteria for new, old Wheezy and Hecon Misty Island. Neither of the cranes have yet been made, but hopefully Trackmaster will make them. It's very nice to finally see the logging locos working together, and I am most impressed. Whereas they are out of scale to each other size-wise, these engines are very nicely detailed, and Bash and Dash, the twins I've dubbed the Logging Mayhem Twins, seem to be more and more common with Percy and the rescue trucks and cars. Ferdinand is the only engine I have yet to have seen hit store shelves out here, but he will soon come from what Fisher Price told me. It was supposed to be released a year ago around Christmas, but was unable to. Again, he was scheduled for mid-February to mid-March release. Once again, he is not, wasn't on the shelves. Hopefully, he will be out and about soon for the Thomas and Friends Trackmaster consumers to purchase. Now for his rating. Out of 5 stars, I give Ferdinand a 4.5. A, a little more attention to the detail would have been very nice, such as the silver piston wheel. Hopefully, Ferdinand will join the Logging Mayhem Twins at store shelves soon. Hank American Engine, signing off.